Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to take a look at how we can take our playing from this to this. And this is a method that can be used at any level of theory understanding. You can apply it to any scale or mode shape you're already familiar with. Um, you can use it in any key. I'm going to use the A minor pentatonic scale as I feel that's probably a scale shape that most people are familiar with. Um, if anyone isn't there, I'll have it flash up on screen now. Um, but if we quickly play through that scale. Um, and first off, we're going to take note of where our root notes are. So we've got root notes on five of the two E strings and also on seven on the D string there. Um, and what this method involves is looking at the notes that fall either side of that note in the scale. So the note that comes immediately before and after. So we're going to take a look at a specific example here for ease of demonstration, um, but this can be applied all over the neck, as I say. Uh, and we're going to start off with our five on the E string. So the note that comes immediately after that is the eight on the E string. And what we're specifically interested in here is the distance between the two. That's, we've started on five, gone up to eight, so that means we've gone up three frets. So it stands to reason then that any root note we can find, if we go up by three frets, that note will also be in the scale. So if we take our open A string, and we go up by three frets, that gives us fret three on the A string. So we're going to make a mental note of that three on the A string. Now I'm going to take a look at the note that precedes the root note. So if we play our scale, now we're going to stop at the root note that's on fret seven of the D string. And the note that we played just before it was the five on the D string. And again, it's that distance that we're interested in here. Um, so that note was two frets before our root note. So it stands to reason again that any root note we can find, if we backpedal by two notes, that note will also be in the scale. So to demonstrate that, if we take our root note on the E string, our fret five, and backpedal by two notes, we now get three on the E string. Um, so what we've added so far to our existing scale box are these two notes. Now that's useful because now instead of starting our scale like this, so you want to play a, an improvised line. We can now start. All I did there was I started on my root note, moved back to the three on the E string, and back to my root note again, hammered on from uh, three to five on the A string, did a bit of a pull off, and then moved into my normal scale box again. Um, so if I play that all the way through, um, and obviously that's just one kind of example of a lick you could use there. And also one instance of where we can copy and paste ex existing information elsewhere in the scale. But if you did have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. And if you did enjoy the video, please do click like and subscribe. With all that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.